Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS of Minecraft Java on your Mac device. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you're interested but all you wanna do here is go to your search bar and search up mod wind like so. And here, you'll find modern.com here, just click on modern, and this will bring you to the modern homepage. Now all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content, and you want to go down to mods. Here you want to get yourself two mods, sodium and sodium extra. To get sodium and sodium extra, you want to go to search mods, and you want to type in sodium, and here you'll find sodium and sodium extra. So let's start by getting yourself sodium. Click the name and this will bring you to this page here and now you want to go to versions, you want to go to game versions and you want to select what game version you want to play. Here you can select 1.21.5 for example being the latest Minecraft version or if you have another version you can do the same thing. Okay so I'll do that and here we'll be using fabric for today's tutorial so it is right here fabric for 1.21.5 and it is a release. So just click the green download button for that one. And now all you want to do is do the same thing as before but for sodium extra. So go to mods and go ahead and so search up sodium and you'll see sodium extra here. Click the name and then all you want to do is go to versions. Now all you want to do is go to game versions and you want to go to 1.21.5 as this is the sodium version you chose before. But of course you might have a different version, but make sure it matches with the sodium version. Okay? And here you'll find Fabric 1.20.5 and Disabilities. So just click the green download button. And there you go! You now have both mods that you need to get yourself more FPS. Although, you do need to get yourself Fabric real quick, so just go to a new tab. And you'll want to go ahead and search up for Fabric Minecraft. Just enter and here you'll see fabricmc.net, just click on fabric and this will bring you to the fabric homepage. Here just go to the blue download button and now all you want to do is go to download install it universal.jar, just click this button here and now you're going to have this jar file. As it's a .jar file you might not be able to run it because you don't have java installed maybe. So just go to a new tab again, go to your search bar and search up jdk24 and here you'll see Java downloads here by Oracle, just click on this and from there you'll see accept all, click this and I will have this website linked in the description as well. But all you want to do here is just scroll down, you'll see JDK24, you'll see Mac OS, click on that. You'll see ARM64 GMG, this is if you have an M something computer and this is X64 GMG if you have an Intel computer. Use the GMGs as it is nice and simple. And all you want to do is just click this link here, you want to download, install, and then you'll have Java. I will have, a I will have a tutorial in the description if you need help for that. Okay, but here, once you have both mods here and fabric, you can go ahead and close your web browser. And now all you have to do is go to Finder, and then you want to go to Downloads. Now all you want to do is double click the fabric installer, which is right here. So just double click it. It will get blocked maybe, so just do done. So just go to the top left here where you see the Apple icon and click it and click system settings. Here all you want to do is go ahead and scroll down and you'll see privacy and security, click this and now you want to scroll down and then you'll see fabric installer here which has been blocked. So just do open anyway and open anyway. Here it is going to ask us to also use a password or touch id just do touch id or password i'll do touch id and now we're gonna have fabric installer so here for the minecraft version just choose whatever minecraft version you chose for both sodium and sodium extra and now just do install okay and close and you can close settings as well now all we have to do is open up the minecraft launcher here and then we want to add sodium and sodium extra to the mods folder. So basically here we have Minecraft here and here we have Fabric Loader. So all you have to do is go to installations here. Here you want to go ahead and hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Now all you want to do 
is simply go ahead and go to mods here. You'll find a mods folder. You might just scroll up and down, but you'll, you'll see a mods folder somewhere here. So just click it. And now all you want to do is go to downloads. You want to go ahead and select sodium and sodium extra, and you want to right click and copy the two files. Now you want to use the arrow pointing to the left, and this will bring you back to mods. Now just go ahead and click paste two items, and you're now done. So all you have to do here is go to play, make sure fabric loader is selected, and click play. And this will just load up Minecraft, and now we just have one extra setting to activate, and then you'll be able to have way more FPS. So basically, once you're here, all you want to do is before joining a game, go to options, then you want to go to video settings, and here you have a bunch of things to go through. So we basically have a giant list of different performance enhancing options, but the very important one is this one, reduce resolution on macOS. This one is very good. So just do yes, and okay, yes, make sure it is selected, right? And if it is, do apply, and now done, done, and close, close and quit the game basically. So you will have to go ahead and rejoin the game as well. This is just because it basically halves the resolution of the game. Now it will still look amazing. It's just instead of being 4K, it will just be like a middle of 180p and 2K. So basically here we have fabric loader and just go back to play. So yeah, so you'll see that the game will have way more FPS because there is way less pixels to render because for some reason the Mac and MacBook displays has very high quality displays and Minecraft is a blocky game so you know, high quality might not always be super useful. So all you want to do here is just go to a single player world, multiplayer world server or realms. I'll just go to a single player world here and then you'll notice that the game here itself looks great. I'll make this daytime for you so I'll do slash time set day. Here it is. As you can see here we have Minecraft here and we are running at 229 FPS. Now this is in a small window so we can make it a bit bigger, why not? Like so. But in itself the FPS will still be great and as you can see the display quality here is a bit lower than the normal display just because that's how the game is rendered with this reduced resolution of macOS option on. Which again, if I remove all this it will look completely fine, like you will not be able to see much of a difference by just playing Minecraft, but you will notice the two times more FPS. So yeah, that is one very useful thing with Sodium and Sodium Extra, without noting all the extra performance enhancing, enhancing things that Sodium and Sodium Extra do in the background, but that is one of the main features that we can see here. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.